in the comments. Yo. JDR. Sorry about that. Ooh, what's good? Why does it do that shit? Look, it's like pausing. Man, this is my second time going live with these badges. Send your boy a badges, support the brand, help level it up. You already know what time it is. We are now streaming on. Yep. We're now streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Instagram right now. Kitchen Couch TV, live in effect, smoking, eating, talking shit. Real conversations, real guests, real unpredictable. Hey, so yeah, we got uh, some videos to edit today. Anything happen to you? Um, what well, works this morning at a wedding, which I hate weddings, but I mean, gotta make that money, right? Uh, not much happened. I think the bride. The bride was all right. She was a little strange. The mother of the bride was definitely um, weird. Oh, I had to get up early. Uh, yeah, she was definitely strange. She was a weird lady. Um, but they were all a little bit weird. Mm. I don't know why. But it was easy, uneventful. The only thing is people really um, in Washington State do not know how to fucking drive. There's that. Like, I've had to drive back and forth the last few days or the last week or whatever from, like, fucking up north to down south, up north to down south, and it is... People suck. Y'all suck at driving. Y'all fucking suck. Anyway. Besides that, I burned myself three times with my curling iron today. Twice on my face, once on my hand. <laughs> Big ol' burn on my head. I'm just not a morning person. Oh, that was getting ready? That was getting ready, yeah. Right on my forehead, and then right on my uh, cheek over here. So, over here on my cheek, and then over here on my forehead, and then... Right here on my hand. Why don't you sit back a little bit? Well, it's not really. Well, okay. I was just. Yeah, you're telling me to sit back. That's really not good. But... You can't sit like that. Well, you don't have to look all prim and proper. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sit down. There we go. Whoa. There's what? No, they all have lids on them. I know. It's just cold on my foot. Wait. Smoking on this pineapple chuck right now. Uh, besides that, I don't know. 
you went live last night. I haven't. I haven't been on in a minute. So I don't know what you guys would do. <coughs> uh, I just read something recently that said that most, all but three states, it's illegal to grow your own food. Apparently. What are those three states? I don't know. I kept trying to look it up, and I couldn't figure it out. I kept finding these articles that was saying that it's pretty much illegal. Certain type of vegetable grow operations are illegal because of like 18th century restrictions that we still have in place to this day. Um, their vegetable gardens are seen as unsightly to a lot of like city ordinance. So um, yeah, that I was like, what? Like the vegetable gardens look dope. They look so dope. But then again, it's just a different perspective. And it depends in, I guess, era, you know, different times and shit, because all of that. Oh, look. Uh, that is crazy. Yeah. Ooh, I was just doing research before I came in here, so I didn't actually um, end up finishing on that one, but I will. I'll get back to y'all. But um, I. I mean, as far as I know, nobody's getting fined for having gardens in their backyards, at least in Washington state. But right. there could be cities, there could be towns, there could be states that it is technically illegal to produce your own food, especially on a larger scale. Because this one woman in Chicago um, got her, what's it called? Um, it's called like a hoop, it's a hoop tent. It's like the big white hoops that go like this, like a big tarp kind of a thing that's in a circular. You see them in gardens a lot, big gardens. Maybe. But it was to protect your tomatoes in Chicago during all this crazy weather, and so she ended up um, changing the law in Chicago because they were they fined her and told her to take her garden down because they were like, it's illegal to grow your own food in Chicago, Illinois. In, in the state of Illinois, it was illegal to grow your own food. So she went to the state. This woman went to the state and um, changed the law in Illinois so that you're able to grow your own food there legally. Wow. Yeah. I was like, in the United States, I had no, I had no idea that it was illegal in certain states. It's not all, and I'm sure it's only enforced in certain areas, and it was originally, and as I'm sure we can all guess already, you want to know why that was put into place? Slavery. It was to discourage, it was so that black people couldn't grow their own food. Dude, they literally just, like, did everything in their power <laughs> to, like, make sure you can't was, do yeah, shit. It was you can't it was, whistle. You can't even be happy. You can't like be against, too loud. You can't be too... There were laws put in, yeah, specifically against black and brown people. So You can't grow this. You can't now, stand here yeah. for too long. You can't drink this water fountain. You can't use this bathroom. So many fucking laws that are just, like, ridiculous, like... You know, I honestly, I encourage everybody to start growing their own vegetables. And if you can afford to get a tent or some type of indoor grow operation going on, I would highly recommend doing that because uh, how are they going to know if you're growing indoors? Uh, secondly, you what can they grow, going to do? Secondly, you can grow year-round if you're growing indoors. So you can grow your produce all year round. You can grow your lettuce. Right your kales, all your stuff, all year round. And that way you can have food all year round instead of having to worry about harsh winters. But, um, I mean, it's all, it's all relative, but I feel like a lot of people should really start to seriously consider growing their own. Yeah, I, I agree. You know, <clears throat> I find it funny that they, uh, that they made it illegal. No, I thought that was really interesting as well. But when I when I read down and I kept going down and I scrolled and then it said regulations put in place for African American people and people of color, you know, blah 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 blah. blah. I was like, oh, of course, of course. <laughs> there we go. That makes sense. They had to make it illegal so that black people had to depend on you know the system. So. Right. Just, uh, Depending on the system that was killing them too. I mean, 
Well, yeah. It, well, a system that took them here but didn't want them, only wanted them as slaves. But yeah, pretty much that's another way to keep them so that they're not making their own communities, you know, building their own communities. Because when you grow your own food, it becomes a part of the community, you know? Right. No, that's so true. I mean, I felt, I just think it's so funny because, like, one of the reasons why watermelon will, it's true. One of the reasons why watermelon is a, like, an insult to, to call, you know, black people, like, make depictions of them mm -hmm. eating watermelons because they use watermelon as a, crop to get free from free from the financial oh yeah i'm sure i'm so sure it's one of the main crops grown by black people that were oh yeah because didn't you say that the only black people could grow the watermelon really well yeah then? they could grow it really really well like tasty delicious where all people would like it well you put a bunch of people out in the fields gardening they get really good at it didn't you say I mean, this is this is precursor to that, though, too. But I honestly, <coughs> that's the only thing that sucks about for us is that. I don't I don't know how I'm gonna be able to grow. Oh. Are you gonna be able to what? I I don't know how I'm gonna be able to grow produce or fruits. How do I grow fruit in my Just garden? strawberries, I know, but you can only oh, get so many. I could grow strawberries, I guess. Strawberries are the only ones I know because most of them grow on a vine or a tree other than strawberries. Bushes, yeah, because blackberry bush. I mean, I, I plan to blackberry forage a bunch this year so that I can freeze some mm. um, to survive through the winter with. Like some jellies and some jams and some preserves and stuff like that. Mm. Especially now that I don't know how to do it. Mm. Well, my day was pretty uneventful. Um, woke up on the wrong side of the bed without medication. Uh -oh. um, it was all good, though. It wasn't a terrible morning. Um, Fuck the United States healthcare system. You know what? And it wasn't bad, though, because you know what? I'm, like, training to, like, uh, take care of my, um, yeah. See, they can Aww. buy badges and stuff and support, bro. I appreciate oh, you, bro. Girl. Thank you. Appreciate you, bro. Um, you know, the American health system, but, you know, I'm, I'm taking reins because, honestly, it was my fault for not calling the people back when they said they had my meds. And so I had to do some running around this morning. So, honestly, though, you can't blame yourself too hard on that one because ADHD is a mental health problem. And you'd be forgetting because ADHD is a thing. And I feel like I also diabetes, though. Diabetes is, like, weird for the brain, too, sometimes if you're not coasting real nice and you're doing this it can be a little shit I feel like you're being slow. but i don't feel like i've been going up and down that much i've been pretty healthy do you feel like it feels kind of similar to like brain shocks maybe um yeah but you feel them all over your body weird you feel them like like for instance you know if my blood sugar is high i'll feel it in my wrists like feel it in my throat like i'll feel like i have a sore throat and then my ankles, um, then like my uh, muscles. I my know, knees, I know when I'm it gets walking. to your chest, that's when it's like. No, nah, the throat is pretty bad. I know, but the last time, the last time we had to go to the emergency room, it was when you started to feel like you were having a heart attack. Oh yeah, DKA is no good. Mm -hmm. It's basically when just like acid is just sloshing about in your body, and you sugar. can't. Yeah, from sugar though. Yeah. It turns to acid. It's like basically. sugar acid. Yeah, and it basically just depletes the inside of your body as long as it's in there. It's just hella, um, what is it called? Acidic. Very yeah. acidic. And so um, usually you have ways to filter this acid back into your body. But when your blood sugar is not high, your body's, when your blood sugar is high or low, your body's not communicating down the lines the right way. So it's like, hard to get the right nutrients and everything mm -hmm. and so <clears throat> a lot of times you see that affected with the blood sugar so it's like it you could have high blood sugar and feel completely normal you could have high blood sugar and then your wrist hurt or your wrist might not hurt or you, sometimes the throat hurts sometimes 
certain things will hurt at certain times and then the higher it gets the more shit will hurt it's really interesting honestly because it's like a lot of people who have this this shit that i got type 1 diabetes i feel like they don't take good care of themselves not everybody but and it's because they don't really i don't know too many type 1 diabetics to be honest with you and i feel like most of them not i'm not trying to hate or nothing shout out to my type 1 diabetic community but i feel like I know we, I'm the ones I've met at least have been very. They don't much. take care of themselves at all. They don't really listen to their body at all. Like I do. Like I'm really sensitive. Like for instance, 200 level of blood sugar is normal for a diabetic. That's normal. Doctors would say if they saw me with 200, they say, "Oh, you're a little high," but it's all good. We're gonna bring you back down. But for me, I train myself when it gets started to get to 200 to start medicating or get active ASAP. Mm -hmm. And I can feel the inflammation build up in my body. And I think that's something that's going to keep me around for a longer time. Well, and I think it's also, you're not just, so like a lot of the type one diabetics that I've met and no shade to them. I'm thinking of one in particular, but that I would love to throw shade at, but, um, type one. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I, uh, I told Man, this guy's got a fucking snack. This okay, he look. Eats can so he has a whole candy drawer. He eats it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And he eats candy all the time because he says his body needs sugar. So it, he runs off of sugar. And Which is so a half he, truth. Your body does need I sugar. I mean, it does, but, but like not, not Snickers for not breakfast, Snickers, lunch, and dinner. Not ice cream. And he's not overweight. He's not overweight because type one diabetics generally are not overweight. Not always. Not Sometimes. always. But if they have their insulin levels under control, generally they can gain weight. That's because you're actually being able to absorb your nutrients. But if you're an unhealthy type one diabetic, you're probably going to be on the malnourished looking side, which mm, is like skinny. It's skinny, skinny but it's not. It's not skinny. It's like skinny fat. Like you still have a little bit of fat because you're eating sugar. So you still have a little bit of fat so on you. So what's hand. burning off is just. But like you're skinny and like you 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 get kind of pale looking and you're just not looking very nourished. One um, way or another, or you could be like not skinny fat. Well, and you, you can't really be... put muscle on muscle mass either mm -hmm. when you're like that either because you're not getting enough nutrients from your food. That's why I've kind of like doubled up and in the, all my and But like that's the kind of thing that like I feel like a lot of type one diabetics do is like because what for so long what they taught type one diabetics, at least is what they taught the older generation of diabetics, is like eat whatever you want, just supplement with insulin. So like you can eat a shitty diet and just supplement with insulin all the time and you'll be quote unquote fine. It does shorten your lifespan, though, because, like, you already have a shorter lifespan, and then if you're eating a shitty diet, that's going to well, shorten your also, lifespan. Well, also, they don't – they say that, and they're expecting people to really be biting on with the capitalistic sense of ignore your mind and body, too. So, like, mm -hmm. so like if you eat it – okay, the thing about it is you can eat a shitty diet. Say, like, for instance, you – I love sugar. No, no, it's just, like, hypothetically. You oh. eat – one day you eat whatever you want. Mm -hmm. The next day you're going to be feeling sore, right? Oh yeah. But like, but like, if I did the same thing, ate the same stuff, I'm going to be feeling more sore. Yeah. Because even if I supplement it with insulin, because they don't tell you about after spikes, they don't tell you about hormone levels or mm -hmm. you know whatever they're putting in the meats and shit and how. Yeah. Okay. Your insulin level. What's up, Matt? Your insulin level will be good, you feel me? And you say you eat a steak with some cheese and some all this shit, right? Not knowing that this is all hormones. So well, you take cheese the, is, and cheese. Cheese is dairy. Dairy turns into sugar. Exactly. And later, it converts later, into it sugar. Later, it converts into sugar. So look, you, you have the, the, the insulin that you take that's going to cover the meal, right? But after the insulin's up, you're gonna you're likely to spike over anyway. Mm -hmm. So then you're, you're just having to keep hammering well, everything down with insulin and, the then, problem, and, then, and then having the, too much insulin in your body lowers your resistance your resistance you feel me and that's eventually what happens when you do that so, is that you 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 your insulin resistance you become insulin insulin tolerant so like you your the insulin doesn't work anymore for you so you have to keep taking more and eventually like you know 
you want to avoid that as long as possible. So the healthier you eat. Now, nobody's going to be perfect, but like, I feel like you are taking a step, specifically you are taking well, a step to make more preventative right. care. Well, because I don't want to use as habit. much insulin. Yeah. Let's fuck that. <laughs> Um, now it's all good. We are just talking about some diabetic shit, talking about health overall. Um, but eating what you want, they don't tell you that. Uh, so sugar, cheese, and meat all have hormone levels in it. Now plants do too, but they converts differently. Some plants do have hormone levels too. Soy, soy, sweet potatoes. Um, yeah, yeah, like yams. No, yams are different. Yeah, sweet yams. Are no, sweet potatoes. Yams have estrogen in them. It's, oh, it might be the yams then, and not sweet potato then. It might be one of the one of them and not the other. You feel me? They all have hormones in them. Yeah. Some naturally, some and most things yeah. that we eat that are alive. Well, if that's not yeah. plant based, that means not only does it have its own hormones, but they also give this hormones as well even if it's organic even if they have to pasteurize it and all this stuff so there's a lot more hormones in meat in cheese and so like it's always- your body's response to like try and burn all of it even with your a perfect insulin dose level is still there there's going to be too much shit in your stomach to be able to process it so your sugar levels will build up but um, that's how I'm trying to say it in the like Got you. regardless. Right. So roll joints always slap fucking harder than rolls. Mm. If only you knew what it took, bro. <laughs> it's not like it's fucking cotton candy and roses. What? All it's around. sunshine and roses every day. I don't know what he's talking about. It's all okay, good. Okay, JK. Man, I like I, razor I, blades and marshmallows. I had her promise me because she cuts my hair. I had her promise me, do not, if you want to kill me, do not slit my throat because that's a terrible way to die. I don't know why you think I'm all into Sweeney Todd like that. No, but, but like I'm saying, if you were to kill me, can you just not <laughs> slit my throat? That's a terrible way. To, ah, ah, ah. That's a terrible way to die. That's a terrible. Oh, oh, oh. Trying to gasp for air and you're getting air. I say it's only like six seconds, though. That's a terrible six seconds because they don't matter. The, the, if, I mean, no, I. If, I'm if trying tripping, to remember Sweeney Todd. If, if tripping like, has taught you anything, though, all I can you, think if, of is Sweeney if, Todd. If tripping has taught you anything, six seconds of absolute agony is enough. That's so much time. That's that's like a lifetime. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's true because that's I always had somebody lifetime. tell me. Oh, oh, oh. I used to have a manager tell me. <laughs> this is a lifetime. I used to have a manager that would say, um, "Think about." how long six <laughs> seconds is in an, in an earthquake. Because six seconds, six seconds doesn't seem like a long time unless you're in an earthquake, and then six seconds is fucking forever. Whew. Right, exactly. Just like, yeah, if you got your slut throat, I, your throat slut. Slut throat? Yes, slut throat. You slut throat. Yeah, slut throat. <laughs> you slut throat. I slut throat. <laughs> slut throat. Slut throat. I'm a cut. Oh, slash slut throat. I'm gonna cut throat, slut throat. Um, Big woke was good. He was blowing Joe talking that shit. Slut Kitchen throat. Cow. Slut throat. Cut throats over here. You feel slut me? Throat. Smoking, eating, talking shit. You feel me? Kitchen but, couch uh, TV. If so you're not looking on the live stream, you're missing good content. Anyway, we microdose today too, by the way. Microdose moods. I'm feeling great. By we, he means he, unfortunately, not me, me but tomorrow me, probably, because I want to go out in the woods. I might make his ass get up at like, um, throat. Throat, baby. Can you say throat? Nah. Throat. Throw the tongue. Throat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, Why are you talking to me like that with your throat? The throat. With your throat. Oh. Yeah, no, so maybe we could go Girl, out on the mountain tomorrow. He throwed. Can we go out on the mountains tomorrow? Trying to find some ghost pipe. 
Mm. <laughs> I didn't realize how uh, sexual that sounded, but Little yeah, no. Pipe. Little ghost pipe. Um, can we go on the mountains now? Possibly. Because there might be chanterelles too. Yeah, we're going to have to go where it's nice I've been seeing wet. people. Yeah, nice and wet. Well, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Oh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow? That walk. What I'm, not to, I'm not trying to go. Okay. To Northwest Mountain region. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> what was that? That was pretty what good. What a Pacific Northwest Mountain region. <laughs> That's pretty good. I was trying to think of what ass pussy, good. but I'm like, what? What, what ass Pacific Northwest? <laughs> yeah, what ass Pacific Northwest? Um, Let's be careful of this. Oh, uh, yeah. necro. What's necro night? Oh shit. Oh, necrophilia maybe. I don't know, bro. Oh no, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. All I know is that smoking this loud hand rolled. Hand rolled is always better. Always than better than pre rolled, right? Don't fucking don't have them <laughs> lie to you. Buy the flour yourself, break it down, and roll it is better. Well, or you could be lazy like me and just get those raw cones because that's what I do. And just make sure it's pesticide stuff the free. Cones. I just stuff the cones. When I bought that weed earlier, I like looked at the girl straight in her face. I was like, "Is it pesticide free?" She's like, um, yes. <laughs> I was like, cool. Unforgivable. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, my waffle fries, bitch. <laughs> I want that ghost pipe. What did he say? He's like, he's like it's my brother. <coughs> <coughs> bitch. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want, oh, yeah. He's like, what, he's like, what is that? That's a little picture of my brother. Said, it's my bitch, brother. I don't want no other niggas. <laughs> Better not be no other niggas in your life. <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember that shit? Ghost pipe. No. Uh, oh, my God. Necrophilia. Ghost pipe is a type of plant, but all right. Ghost pipe. Necrophilia. <laughs> That's pretty go good. <laughs> That's pretty good. We're going to go out to the woods and do some weird shit. <laughs> That's pretty good. Nah. So ghost pipe, if you guys weren't here, it's a fucking type of... It's like a. It's a flower. It's it's like a between a flower and a mushroom, basically. But it's not it's not a plant because it doesn't use. It's a plant that doesn't use photosynthesis. Yeah, and it's a mushroom that only. So it's an anti-spasmatic plant. So if you use this plant medicinally, it's anti-spasmatic. It, they use it to cure seizures and panic attacks and acute anxiety. It's basically that ghost is piping you down, mm -hmm. and then it feels like a Xanax, I guess. Yeah supposed to be like your nature Xanax but it is a very rare plant and it is kind of going extinct whether it's climate change or over harvestation we're not sure but that's the thing behind the ghost pipe which I I'm 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 weirded out that necrophilia came onto the live today I that was a topic today I'm gonna have to put no, that I thought that, that was pretty I'm clever. I'm gonna have to put that in the description now because that's, that's, that's the first time we've talked about necrophilia. So. That, that is pretty clever, yeah. <laughs> that was clever. Unpredictable. Ghost, you know? ghost pipe. Ghost pipe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Getting that ghost pipe on. You feel <laughs> Out in the woods. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna pin this comment. <laughs> Just so you guys know. Uh, I wish. I and wish, Google Ghost Pipe, though. You would be astounded. You would be astounded with what If you guys is. hop over to the YouTube Live or the Facebook Live or the Twitch Live, I can show you what it looks like. Because it's like you. a little plant, and they're like, they're they're all white, and they like hang like a little like, like a little candy cane. Um, and they're white, so they don't use photosynthesis. They use nutrients from that mycorrhizal network that mushrooms use underground. So um, they're actually a pretty cool plant. Uh, I think they have their own class, too, or something. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah, they're here. Okay. Boom. Hold up. Here. Hold on. Let's see if we can. We'll, we'll show you guys Instagram, too. Let's see. Look at this shit. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, these guys, these little babies. They're they're kind of um 
They're a little scary looking. They're a little, you know, yeah. funeral esque. Yeah, I don't know what I would do if I saw this in the wild, but I guess we're I saw picture. dead ones last year. What? But, um, they yeah. Grow this high? Did they grow that high? No, they were short. They were like the shorter ones. Oh, it's called would... Indian pipe, too. Oh, of course. <laughs> AKA Indian pipe. Yep. Ooh, get some Indian pipe in the woods. Dude, we All could right. just buy. We might be just have to buy the goat, the tincture off of Etsy. Yeah, like, uh, that might be the way. Octagon Farms alcohol tincture, Craft in Fletcher, Vermont. Okay. Yo, this is true. But look at look at how many those is. Oh my god, that's so many. A not so secret garden. Monotropa uniflora. Like how I, I use the Latin word because Latin's sexy. This is very monotropa uniflora. This is very uh uh what would you say? Um psychonaut type shit. You feel me? Like the fact that you can get high on so many different types of substances so, they can't make them all illegal. So I was gonna they try. I was gonna make this a tincture. I was gonna get this ghost pipe and I was gonna make this a tincture. And I was gonna sell this tincture in tandem with my other medicinal mushroom tinctures. Um, you know what kind of mushroom tinctures I'm talking about? Medicinal. Uh, medicinal, psychoactive medicinal mushrooms. And um, I, I, no, it's fine. It's good. Um, and I'm was gonna be possibly selling this um in tandem with it just for the anxiety. Uh, as travel insurance. Yeah, but there's some shit too that help you come down too. There's like other shit. Uh, an artist conch, which is a type of mushroom um, or a fungus, is um, grows on the um, what's that day on trees, conifers, and it um, ha it also has anti anxiety effects. So you can make USA. it out of a you can make an artist. Hey, We're talking about a natural Xanax right now to come up. It's a, it's a substance called ghost pipe or Indian pipe. Yeah. And you can find this in or the wild conch. or artist conch is another uh, type of substance completely legal. What up, what up? And it, it is actually a natural Xanax completely legal to farm, to find and harvest yourself. You feel me? They try not to get it. Our cat's trying to get famous, and it's funny. Yeah, every time we go live, he's just like, "He's like, I'm what they doing there. over there? What they doing over there?" But this this ghost pipe, this substance is one of these substances that's really sick. Like, you could go and find it in the wild. You know what? Should I go get my book? Oh yeah, you can go get the book. Yeah, yes. I'm gonna go get my book. Yes, I'm gonna hold it down. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hold that down. What? Welcome to the kitchen couch. Fucking TV. Feel me? You don't know. We're about to learn you. We're about to learn you some stuff. Stay, stay put. She's about to go get the book on your ass. Feel me? Smoking, eating, talking shit. You feel me? New logo out now. We got music out right now. We got more music coming out. We got motherfucking. Um, <clears throat> I haven't dropped a podcast in a while, so if you guys listen to the podcast, I'm going to drop real soon. Just give me like one more week. I'm about to have hella content for that RSS feed. For that oh, RSS. Shit. Oh, shit. You feel me? Yeah, we're going to do some pre-recorded episodes too, just FYI. So. Yeah, I think it'll change the dynamic of the live type of show that we, we always bring. <laughs> So the Pocket USA, to, before you go on, um, is a dope product, and uh, I'm thinking I'm going to get one. It's basically this thing where you put on the outside of your car, and especially if you're black, and it, you just put, like, you keep your insurance and your driver's license in it, pretty much. Like, you keep your driver's license on you, but you keep your insurance in it, and then when the police pull you over, you just put your, your driver's license in it, you stick it to the pin of your car, and you roll up your window. But now, I mean, we're also learning because, because, and it was invented because a lot of the time, you know, 
we want our people to come home safely by any means and follow the laws as much as possible, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, I'm not a bureaucrat, so just be safe. Um, but um, I think this Pocket USA thing would be good, too, because it's like, it's kind of like, it's an easy way that the police officer knows that you're trying to be safe. Like, hey, I'm grabbing, and you can keep it like right on your dash or right in there, so you can just grab it and be ready, you know? Right. But, that's that's really dope. What, I think that's a really great idea. And, but we're also learning, though, too, though, that they can't just they can't just stop you and and say you're being suspicious. Give me your ID. Nowhere do they do they make this. You anytime anytime they say you're suspicious of an activity. They don't have to, you don't have to show them your ID. You got to tell me what part of suspicion, what's the penile code? Tell me the penile code of what I'm being charged with right now. And if you have a problem, ask the supervisor. I got you. But, um, you know, I'm just trying to make sure my people know their rights. Right. They can't just stop you and say, you're being suspicious, just give me your ID. I thought they did for so long. I did. I thought you had to give your yeah, ID no, you to don't. a police officer if they ask for it not nah. you know just because it's the right thing to do fuck that nah right. <laughs> anyways back to the plant subjects the natural zannies the na nature's so, xanax this is called right here this this baby ghost pipe um it also has names such as Convulsion plant, corpse plant, fairy smoke, and Indian pipe. Wow. Um, wow, wow, wow. It yields a dark purple tincture that increases your in your pain tolerance. It increases pain tolerance. It reduces the debilitating effects of acute anxiety attacks. It relieves spasms and seizures. And then this is a really cool thing. You can also use it as a eye wash to get rid of conjunctivitis what because it's yeah uh um, <laughs> <laughs> okay now that would do me for a little it's what? so weird yeah it's an eye wash um it it relieves conjunctivitis or pink eye um if you use it as a wash so i don't know how you would because it's like how do you i mean because it it's an alcoholic tincture you might have to dilute and then use as a dilute wash. dilute dilute yeah dilute 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 like distilled water Shout obviously these is nice like, um this is yeah it's an anti-spasmatic properties calming effects on the nervous system and it encourages sweat uh, this is why these motherfuckers were on sale because every single one of them <laughs> they used to substitute this plant for opium to relieve pain they also use the juice of the fresh plant by itself or combined with rose water to soothe chronically inflamed eyes. Oh, so that's how they did it. They would juice the fresh plant mm. and use it in combination with rose water. Oh, shit. Mm. Okay. Wow. Um, so take the fresh tincture to increase pain tolerance, both physical and emotional, oh. and to relieve muscle spasms. Wow. Weird. It helps ground those and calm those who are mentally overstimulated, reduces debilitating effects of acute anxiety attacks. Ghost pipe. But yeah, that is acid in my eye, right? <laughs> um, oh my God. Didn't people used to do that? Like drop yeah. acid in the eye yeah. back in the 70s? Yeah. It's just like... Oh, oh. and okay, so... <sighs> That's so crazy. Straight to the brain, right through the I mean, the especially brain. because it's um, when they do that, it's going to be al uh, alcoholic based. So it's like you're putting fucking partially alcohol and or so some random put, ass water. When they put LSD part. on the paper, is it coming from an alcohol dropper? I, I don't. So the alcohol dissipates once it hits the paper. Yeah, I think so. Something like okay, that. Okay, so I don't know. I'm like not really a scientist. It, it's like a tincture. Yes, you can take it as a tincture. Somebody knows how to make LSD out there. Tell us. LSA, actually. But okay, so so I'm glad that <laughs> I'm you brought. Just kidding, don't do it. No, I'm, I'm glad that you brought this point up. There's a place in Poland right now. This dude who I, who apparently is 
<laughs> I read this crazy article. Okay. No, not your people. Oh. Somebody who says they're a distant cousin of Trump. Gross. Distant cousin. They're like, uh, I know him, but Gross. they have a legal uh, LSD shop. And what they're selling is one NC LSD. It's just like LSD, but one chemical off to make it like a, a to make it con, quote unquote a research chem, which they don't have any like <laughs> jurisdiction specifically made I for love that. It. I love it. Yeah, and I like, love it. I'm like, how do you? Well, I mean, he's gonna get shut down eventually, you know, because this is like Poland, so they're not playing. But I love how they're allowing the capitalism. I guess in that. I mean, I guess so. They, they said they said they said their marketing strategy was to get it to get it as popular as. Would coffee. you take acid in your eye? Hold on, no. To get it as popular as coffee. Yeah, LSD is popular as coffee. Yeah, for taking it. What's up, Fabo? Geeked up. Hey, D4L legend on here. You feel me? Gang shit. We're talking about acid right now. You feel me? Because you, you just said that they want to make in Poland? Well, yeah, it's already like going on. This guy's a legal LSD shop. He wants to make acid is popular. Is popular and is common. As coffee. As coffee. Okay. And that's easily accessed too. Like I mean, coffee, shit. caffeine is a drug. It is. Tis it is a, a drug. It is a stimulant. Tis a stimulant. Babe, do you know who Fabo is? Who is Fabo? Oh my god, from D4L. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've, no. been, I've been hitting them for a little bit, but I'm trying to get him up on the show. That guy is a, a legend, man. He's still working too. He's still Let's out here go. killing it too. So you know you know who popped into my live last night too? Eduardo Johnson. The fucking black chef, like super nice. He has a um, two restaurants in Seattle. Just randomly popped in my live last oh, night. Oh, dope! Like for a second, it was just like, "Oh, what's this nigga doing?" Okay, I was He's like, "Wow, wow, I'm over here just, I'm, you know, whatever, whatever." Oh, my bad. I'm over here just like niggas want to see what the show's about. I had these glasses on last night, and I was just freestyling. I was going in. I had hella on this <laughs> motherfucker. I was talking hella shit, and I was like, "Hey." Was good. Boof chemicals. That's true. I'm not gonna boof no chemicals. Yeah, I am boofing nothing. This this just seems so extreme. Yo, I was on the live. I was on the live last night, geeked up, talking hella shit. I was like, big shit, kitchen couch. You know what time it is? Like, it's my time. Like. Yeah, and I just was going in hella freestyling, man. Uh, you could check it out because I definitely saved it. <clears throat> yeah. Um, definitely make sure I saved that one because that shit was good. But like I said, Eduardo Johnson. Hey, Google that. Google him. He's a man. That guy's that guy can cook. Okay. He's like a. I think he won a um a Michelin star. Oh shit. Yeah, like he's good. Like good, good, good. I was like, damn, I'm doing something, nigga. I'm just over here geeked up. <laughs> and that, sometimes I'm wondering, like, and that's why I'm like, maybe I'm like, me being me is the way that people need to see me, like, in my true element, too, because I be thinking sometimes I be getting, like, paranoid about the outside world. Oh, if somebody like that were to pop in on my live on me just smoking a bunch of weed, talking hella shit. But that's what we do. But that's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what we do. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what you it is. You fucks with it or you and don't people, fuck and with it. And people like it and people fuck with it. And it's just like. But there's knowledge I told too. Them, there's knowledge there's too. There's knowledge too. That's the thing. You guys, knowledge. I was saying that too because I had some random knowledge last night. And we was talking about the rent referendum last night ending. Yeah, that yeah. shit's going to. Mm. That was yesterday's topic. Um, it will be another topic for a future show. Well, um, as of tomorrow, it will be a big topic. Tomorrow, it will definitely be a huge topic. Um, but you heard it here first in the kitchen. Couch. I hope you spoke up some ace. 
Oh, definitely. Ace, Andrew Grant Houston. Andrew Grant Houston. Um, we're about to edit the video, man. I've been slacking. I'm sorry, Ace. I'm a hustler, bro. You know, real life is real life, and he's over there canvassing. Um, yeah, well, we got this. He's running for Seattle mayor. He needs you to vote August 3rd for the primaries, too. You feel me? Um, big shit. Jamika Scott running for Tacoma mayor. We got so many people that are tapped in with the community. You feel me? Trayvon Dunbar, you feel me? We got. Yeah, we need more young. More young people to be. People of color in politics, in man. Because that's how they're going to keep trying to roll on us. You know what? I heard a crazy. Well, real people, just real people. You know what I mean? Like more real people in politics. I heard a crazy ass fact, and I think I sent it to you. So this, this dude, he identifies as more. M O O R like Moorish. I don't. Maybe I didn't get to that one. Okay. Whatever. Or maybe they took it down because. Maybe last they took it down. down. Last day is August third. Last day is August third. Last vote. day is August third. You better vote. Vote. Hey, I'm about to make that my. Vote. Vote. Yo, I don't give a fuck what nobody says too. Like, look, they don't want you to vote, so I'm gonna vote. <laughs> like at first I was like voting is a scam blah 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 and I thought they used it to like get your information which they do but they also already have so like who gives a shit they just they just want to send you they they would they're gonna send you mail 365 days in your motherfucking mailbox and 90 percent of it will be ads one percent will be a fucking ballot <laughs> you know me yeah. so I'm like oh and I forgot I forgot actually I gotta vote too. For our, we got to vote for our, I don't know. We just do a little research, do some research. I usually, uh, and I'm not even going to lie to you. I know all your skin folk ain't your kin folk. I look for a couple key issues, you feel me? Um, but see, and that's how you know in our district, our representatives aren't that open. They're not in our communities. Why is that? Why, why do we know two different communities, mayors? We know two, we know mayor, people potentially running for mayor, People running for student uh, city council. We know so many different people running that are our age. I don't know nobody up here in Snohomish County. I've never met one representative. Mm -hmm. And if I always say this, I those two words ends with C C A Y. Does it? The two words. That's a noun and. It doesn't run. It runs America, but we're not gonna give it any credit. We're not gonna say that word. One of them has to do. One of the words this has is one end in Macy. Yes, Macy. There we go. One ends in Macy. Macy, exactly. That's what we're gonna call it now, because we're not giving it no love, Macy, because it's not. It's 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 mediocrity. Mediocrity, but um. Oh, I'm high. I'm geeked up. Shout out to Fabo. I'm geeked up. Bring me back. Bring us back. <laughs> I have ADHD and I'm high as a kite. I'm really hungry, actually. I'm going to have to make something or order something, but probably make something because. We're trying to save money. Freezer full of damn We're Trying to get that land. land. We're trying to get yeah, land, trying to baby. Land. We're trying to get some land. They're trying to take it from Help us. Help us out. Help us out. That's that's what this is for. This bad shit is honestly for us to buy a house. Period. Or land. Land. But a house I eventually. Mean, that's all leading up to a house. Well, hopefully a house, but honestly, a land. I'll squat on some land. I don't give a fuck. Cause after wedding season, I don't really, I mean, I don't have a job or nothing, so. Yeah, but we always going to be making money. I mean, I'll make money. Register to vote, you feel me? I'm not going to get no job. I mean, I might get a job. I thought about working at a weed store. What do y'all think? Yeah, I might do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or work. I'm trying to do like some, I want to see if they'll do some online. Oh, I'm doing, I'm waiting for my notary to come back. Wait, okay. they come back to, I think it's a couple more days. Oh. So, oh, did you check your passport status? No, it was down. The website was down. <sighs> of course it was. Fucking bureaucracy, man. They all went on vacation. Okay, we can't talk about it. We can't talk about it. Can't talk about it. We can't talk about it. Next episode, we'll talk about how... Even the doctors went on vacation early this weekend. My sister couldn't even make an appointment to get fucking checked out 
for some serious Yo, shit it's a ER. ghost town around here. Did you see? Have you been around outside? Yeah. It's a fucking ghost Everybody's town. gone. It's a ghost town. I'm like, yo, is everybody up at, uh, where was Jeff Bezos at? Well, shit, we drove by and there was all them damn tanks here. Maybe they got the window something we didn't Holy get wind of. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I forgot to post that. Oh, yeah, man. we drove by and there was like hella fucking tanks. Like, there was over a hundred. We're gonna post this tonight. I'm actually scared to post it. I'm fucking frightened to post this. It was creepy. All these tanks, yo. Hell of them, like hundred, at least two hundred, three hundred tanks. Uh, mm. I'd say a hundred or two hundred. Hundred, maybe two hundred, maybe max, maximum. max. But that's still enough. That's With a lot. Tanks just ready to go too. And like small. on on like um. Cars, so like, like to be connected to a train, like cr- train cars, yeah, like ready to get where they're going. I don't know. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll, you know what? Maybe we'll go on a bike ride tonight and we'll go see if they're still there. I'll see. Um, we'll see if they're still there. I'll just say this: that gas money is cheaper if they stay around here. My only other thought, just to be on the positive side, I mean, side, there is a military base. Like that was so. what I was gonna say. My only other thought is maybe they're training with those. Because they are smaller, but I'm like they you- look like war ones, like because they're smaller, like they go faster and they're like yeah. have missile launchers on the top of them. Yeah, so like you deploy them all at once, kind of a thing. But it could maybe they're all getting retired. I have no idea. I just thought it was really interesting and yeah, very creepy. You can to only come across because that. honestly, even if you have like the our infrastructure doesn't even support like tanks rolling on it. You feel me? Right. <laughs> like you can't just be if they if they put tanks down on our infrastructure like hella like where it's not meant. Mobile apothecary that'd be so sick. Bruh. That'd be so sick. Um and if no, I can get the infrastructure, you know trying to grow mushrooms mobile is I mean it could be done. I don't think it, it could be done. It's be sterile all the time though. So that's well, what? But again, if you're outside, outside is sterile. Stop playing with me. What? I'm not playing with um, you. Outside is sterile. You feel me? Yeah. That's why I want to build an outdoor kitchen. I want an outdoor kitchen. Yeah, it would help with the heat too. It would be dope to have an outdoor kitchen, like or like. Outdoor covered kitchen where you well, can yeah, it'd be covered. It just can, like, it'd be cool if you could put doors around it just in case the bugs can't get in or something. You can kind of you want it all outside. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could put like bug netting down, like screens. But like, I would want it like even in the winter time, I'd want it pretty open. Mm. Just wear some fucking thick boots, man. Thick boots. I mean, I would I would definitely build a mushroom. Um, house like a hot, like its own separate space for mushrooms in whatever property I own. It will have its own. Douse yourself in alcohol before you walk in that bitch. Well, no, I wouldn't even be showing people because I like. Oh, no, like me. Oh. I doubt you know. Like, you know douse yourself in alcohol it, before you walk in that bitch because. Yeah, you want to make sure. You- I wonder if you grew, if you if you inoculated outside, would it be different? Because yeah, there's so many factors, but outside is essentially clean for the most part, unless you're like in a fucking gas zone or some shit. You're in some fucking yeah. I California mean, might. Have the outside only thing, the only thing LA. is that like spores and other bacteria can be floating in the air outside. So when it comes to inoculation, you would still have to be in a still air box. Because inoculation is the most, it's like impregnation. It's raw. It's like you don't want no motherfucking nothing else getting in there. Hmm. I don't it's know. Very I've, I've, seen, I've seen some videos where people are playing around with it. They're, they're inoculating outside. Mm-hmm. Well, you don't have to send those videos to me. There's I've one where they're inoculating outside. That's and then there's it. another one. They might be using a still airbox outside, though. I can't remember. It was a while ago for that one. But then there's another one where they inoculate and then they transfer it outside and grow it outside completely. I was mm. like, what? And I think I sent you that one. 
too because it's like you can um they put it over like a patch of ground they like dug like a little thing and they put like a little like it's grass over top and then you just peel back the grass and it's like all this whole colony of mushrooms growing underneath most it. people have like a room with a stainless steel desktop and a hood flow inoculation a little bit box. of mist not mist going but um no fog. <laughs> no no that's like that's like in cute mushrooms I'm talking about where you inoculate oh but people have like legitimate like sterile labs in their house that's what i want i want a sterile lab like i can have my own room with, like a sterile lab that i can you know grow the mushrooms outside that's fine but like because like uh, you know knowledge is power once i get my microscope it's all over with. knowledge is power and this is why we are worth so much yeah once i get my microscope y'all be getting freaking out man because i'm gonna have such dope photos oh they're gonna be awesome Yep. Yeah, exactly. Cloning. Oh, bro. Precisely hey. why I want a lab. <laughs> we need uh, some seeds, though. We need to get some 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 weeds growing. We have one weed growing, too, but we're going to get some more weed growing. I just want to see what my options are. What are your options are? Damn, we're almost at an hour. Almost streaming live for an hour. Thank you, Instagram. Hey, Instagram actually put something so you can monetize your content and get hella money. Okay, okay. Too, for doing it. So, like, man, I'm trying to, as soon as I get up, I'm trying to bring my peoples up, trying to show them how to do it, too, so they're not getting, so they don't have to come through all these ropes. Because I feel you, I'm telling you, babe. What does everybody say? If I'm getting money, you know we all got a plate. I, I get gate. Good. She could tell you I get gatekeeped so many times by so many different things, and I, it's it just be the weirdest little oh this or little this, oh well until like some things to the point where it's like you gotta like pay money in order to have your shit out there, basically. And that's what I'm finding, but it's like I'm just fine tuning everything, and I'm about to start placing ads on shit too. You feel me? I just got, I need I need uh, I've got a graphics person right now. What do you want? Um, I want some soup. Chili? No. Um, I'm looking for somebody who can do some video editing for me. I've got so many clips, okay? I understand the time and whatever. I can, I got you. I got you. I got you. You feel me? You boy getting it out the mud, but you feel me? I'm not really in the mood for, for Cafe Wild, to be honest with you. So then... <clears throat> what are you gonna order? Oh. Oh. The one I'm gonna look at. The one. Is on. I don't think. I don't. I don't think. Yeah, people do love their power trips. That's for sure. That's for damn sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not delivering to us anymore. I swear. They're like, you niggas get your shit together. Mm -hmm. They're like, you could come back down here fucking far. and get your shit together. Yeah, they're too far. They're like, fuck you guys. Too far. Y'all live in ghetto and give no tip. Uh, I tip very nah. generously. Thank you very much. Yeah, but it's like, if it's like one in 20 people. No, did I send you that thing where this girl, she was like, oh, it was so funny. They were ordering out to eat. And she gets her bill back, right? And she's like, um, what is gratuitas? <laughs> I didn't order. <laughs> she's like, I didn't order. <laughs> what is gratuitas? Because that's how it's built, right? 
gratuitas, eh? Uh, yeah, basically. Because gratuity is after the fact, you feel me? It, so gratuitas is yeah, like... Well, yeah, gratu well, gratuity is it's the way that it's... Is on. it? <laughs> gratuity. Gratuitas. Gratuity, like it's... No, but on the end of the check, it says it gratuitous. Says gratuitous. Oh, gratuitous. Gratuitous. <clears throat> okay. Gratuitous. Because it's like... It's it's grand oh, shit. Stop listening. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I, did you microdose? No, I'm high. I, so, she like microdoses. No, I, I'm just secretly. high. Shut up. I just, I'm secretly always. Yeah, microdosing. Gratuitous is like, okay, how did she say it? Gratuitous or something <laughs> like that. She, <laughs> she's like, I didn't order that. I didn't, I didn't order that. <laughs> Un, are, uncalled for, lacking good reason, unwarranted, given or done free of charge. Gratuitous. I don't know, because I'm pretty sure at the end of the receipt, it doesn't say gratuity. It I says gratuitous. It said, I thought it said gratuitous. That's what I, I, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe hers, maybe she was at a fancy place and it said gratuitous. Because <laughs> like, I guess, she, she, I mean, she was smoking hookah, so I don't know how nice the place really was. Oh, well, I mean, maybe it was a typo. Maybe they weren't sure, you know? No. No, they were sure it was gratuity. Like, but I'm saying, she's like, what is this? I didn't order this. It's just like <laughs> she's like that's my tip. You guys don't have to tip me. <laughs> she had to explain it to her. She's like, oh, um, I just needed to make sure because I didn't order none of that. I was like, it's like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Shit, if you don't know, you gotta ask. <laughs> Thou shall. I mean, ask. I'm pretty sure I've done that too. Where I'm like, what? The like the very first time I saw, it, I was like, "What's gratuity? What is this?" And they're like, "Oh, that's like we charge gratuity for X amount of people in your party." And I was like, "So the tips already in 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 built in?" And they're like, "Yeah." And I'm like, "Oh, so I don't have to tip you then? Cool." <laughs> no, um, I used to be a waitress, so it was really nice when you had parties of six or more where gratuity of and then we only charged 15% gratuity. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, it was 15%. If it's six or more, it should definitely be 20%. Six or more, gratu uh, six or more was 15% gratuity. That's the, the only time. Included, and then most decent people tipped on top of that. I honestly, that's the only time where I actually believe in tipping more. And it's 20%, not like, unless the service was even more crazy. But if if I'm coming in with a huge party, I'm definitely tipping. You know what I mean? Like that's not I'm not gonna give you two bucks. Like, yeah, they tax tips. That's why you always have a tip in cash. Bucks. And even then a lot of the time restaurants will make you claim your cash tips. My restaurant was cool because you only had to this was way back in the day too, so you only had to claim a portion of your tips. They only made you claim ten percent of your tips. So you didn't have to claim all of yeah, them. Yeah, because I think they tax you at a different rate too. Mm -hmm. So now most places make you claim all your fucking tips, cash included, which because I don't tip I tip cash because that way they don't, you know, when it's on a card, it's it's definitely taxed. But if you tip in cash, sometimes they can get away with not taxing it. It's, yeah. Depends. <sighs> cash is only gonna be worth so much for so long, too. True. That's true. But that's what I'm saying. My people, we need to get it together. We need to be sewed in thick. You know what I mean? We need to be way more collective. Because it seems like the end of times, right? Feels like it. Kinda. But I don't know what that feels like. We withdraw more than half people using medical cannabis for pain experience withdrawal symptoms. Yeah. Oh yeah, it, it's uh, and it can be as bad as heroin too, especially if you're a super heavy user.
Yo, I be I love. <clears throat> I don't know. We want to. We want to. We want to. Uh, I love Yahoo News. It is just like it's kind of like a a bougier version of the Inquirer or something. It's just they have the most ridiculous article and they email it to me. I fucking I love it. Oh my god! It's the most ridiculous things. Like sometimes I'm just like, what? Like it'll be like John Travolta's daughter has some really interesting things to say six months after her mother died. And I'm like, well, shit, what kind of shit she got to say? I know, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like 10 minutes deep into the article, and it's like, she misses her mom. She's doing really well. I'm like, bitch, that's yeah, that they, interesting. They sold you that article with that clickbait. S- they sold they you that. They went into a whole spiel about Jackie Chan, too. It was like, they went into, like, John Travolta's old shit, and then they were like, oh, it's something about Jackie Chan, and his estranged daughter who's trans, and Jackie Chan doesn't support her and her partner, or something like oh, that. Oh, damn, really? Or them and their partner. It was, like, a whole weird thing, and I'm like, what? where are we getting back to John Travolta's daughter? Like, I'm really curious. Wow. You know John Travolta, throwing shade everywhere. Throwing shade at Chain, man. Well, you know that he lost... He lost, he and Kelly Presley lost their son. To, Jackie Chan? No, Presley? no. John Travolta and Kelly Presley. The one who just died. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, she died too, yeah. Kelly Presley just died last year, yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. John Travolta's wife. Wow. But they had a son who died of terminal illness, I believe. He was a little prayed, longer. They didn't get him any fucking care. Because they're Scientologists. Yeah, there's a lot of shit around that. Crapologists. Oh, I have some pictures still from when, when we went down to LA. And there's a that big, huge sign. Oh, the compound in Hollywood? Yeah, yeah. that yeah. is crazy. It's in the middle of the hood, too. It's like in Hollywood, and it's like you're walking around, and you're like, oh, this is a gosh, oh, a new Scientologist building. It looks like a giant I was walking down the sidewalk, uh, not even a block away from it, and there was literal, like, pages ripped out of a porno magazine littered all over the sidewalk. And then you, like, cross the street, and it's, like, prim and proper and clean. And you're like, the fuck? Like, supremely clean. Like, you're just, like, garbage, porno, condoms, and then just, like, clean, like, pressure washed and clipped with hedges. You're like, the fuck? Yeah. Is happening it looked here. like a half-assed Harry Potter campus, but it was like too kind of. whack. It was like like mixed with polo. Like if, if if fucking Harry Potter wore a bunch of polo, that's what it would look like. <laughs> Ron L. Hubbard, man, that's your guy. Is this your king? <laughs> Yo, I'm about to put myself in a daily harvest. You want one? A little uh, a little flatbread. I'm hungry. You want, you want flatbread? Um. I don't know if I want a flatbread. I might want the little cauliflower kimchi. A little cauliflower kimchi. Um, I'll let you flip that up then, because you know you don't want to spice it. Just it up. Um, not yet. Not yet. He's got babies. He's got little babies growing. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. I have a whole ass pea plant that's growing. I'm growing peas. Oh yeah. It's growing at the cellos. Did you see it? Yeah, I did see that. I'm like I didn't. Uh, I'm looking forward to stuff. Brighter futures, bigger wallets. Okay, yeah, we gotta edit this motherfucking video, so peace. Yeah. Bye. Dude, Fabo t- tapped in. Dude, thanks, Dude, Fabo tapped in. How's it go?